In the latest unionization effort by a major U.S. corporation, employees at a number of Apple stores are preparing to unionize, the Washington Post reported Friday. The paper, citing sources familiar with the matter, said that employee groups at at least two Apple stores are backed by major national unions and are preparing to file paperwork with the National Labor Relations Board in the near future, and that at least six more locations are at less advanced stages in the unionization process. The move follows unionization efforts at other large U.S. retailers, including by Amazon warehouse workers and Starbucks staffers. Apple has 270 stores in the U.S. and made 36 percent of its more than $365 billion in net sales in fiscal 2021 through its retail stores and website, according to a regulatory filing. CEO Tim Cook's pay last year was 1,447 times that of the average employee at the tech giant, fueled by stock awards that helped him earn a total of nearly $100 million. Apple and the National Labor Relations Board did not immediately respond to Reuters' requests for comment. As of this moment, I'm convinced he's made the decision. U.S. President Joe Biden said Friday that Russian President Vladimir Putin has decided to invade Ukraine and that he continues to spread false information, building a pretext for a military strike that could happen in days. We believe that they will target Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, a city of 2.8 million innocent people. We're calling out Russia's plans loudly and repeatedly, not because we want a conflict, but because we're doing everything in our power to remove any reason that Russia may give to justify invading Ukraine and prevent them from moving. Biden said Russia is pushing out disinformation and said Russia-backed separatists have falsely claimed Ukraine is planning an attack. There is simply no evidence of these assertions, and it defies, defies basic logic to believe the Ukrainians would choose this moment with well over 150,000 troops arrayed on its borders to escalate a year-long conflict. Earlier Friday, separatists backed by Moscow told civilians in eastern Ukraine to leave breakaway regions on buses, saying they would evacuate hundreds of thousands of citizens to Russia, a move the U.S. believes could be part of a pretext for an attack. Russia wants to stop Ukraine from joining NATO and accuses the West of hysteria, saying it has no plans to invade. Moscow has released footage it says shows it is withdrawing troops from the border, but the U.S. and allies are adamant the military buildup is continuing. Biden's comments come after a phone call with leaders of NATO, the European Union and several countries. The leaders pledged to continue pursuing diplomacy while preparing to impose swift, coordinated economic sanctions on Russia should it choose further conflict. Guys, nice photo Brad Pitt is suing his former wife, Angelina Jolie for selling her stake in a French winery they had bought together and where they were married. In a lawsuit filed in Los Angeles on Thursday, Pitt said Jolie broke their agreement not to sell their individual interests in Chateau Miraval without the other's consent. Jolie sold her stake to a unit of Stoli Group, a spirits maker controlled by Russian oligarch Yuri Scheffler. The Oscar-winning couple bought a controlling interest in Miraval in 2008 and were married there in 2014. The complaint said Pitt said he had poured money and sweat equity into making Miraval among the world's most highly regarded makers of rosé wine, with annual revenue exceeding $50 million. Pitt accused Jolie of seeking unearned windfall profits from his work while inflicting gratuitous harm. Lawyers for Jolie did not immediately respond on Friday to requests for comment. According to the lawsuit, Jolie told Pitt in January 2021 she had reached a painful decision with a heavy heart to sell her Miraval stake and could no longer own an alcohol-based business because of her personal objections. The lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court seeks unspecified compensatory and punitive damages for breach of contract and other legal claims. Pitt and Jolie have six children. Jolie filed for divorce from Pitt in 2016 and their divorce became final in 2019. Police scuffled with protesters in Ottawa Friday as authorities worked to clear blockades that have occupied the city's downtown area for three weeks. Fearing escalation or violence, Ottawa police had sought to disperse them peacefully with fines and then arrests. Ottawa's interim police chief, Steve Bell. Last night we began to take additional actions towards implementing our operation. 
We moved officers and equipment into key positions throughout the city and took up 100 checkpoints around the downtown core. We began making arrests of key individuals who were responsible for organizing these unlawful activities. As of 3 p.m. today, we've arrested 70 people. They have been charged with, a mul with multiple various offenses, including mischief. Protesters at one point had barricaded behind snow mounds to slow the advance of police making arrests, while tow trucks hauled away more than 20 vehicles. Police said at least two trucks were driven away voluntarily. The protests began weeks ago in a bid to end cross-border COVID-19 vaccine mandates for truck drivers, but the blockade gradually turned into a sprawling anti-government demonstration. Many have vowed to remain peaceful, but say they won't budge until police physically remove them. Unfortunately, these police officers have been put in a very bad position, but their decision now as to which side of history they're on is to be made. Are they for liberty or are they for tyranny? With no apparent plans to leave, one man was seen lying in the snow in front of police. Another lifted weights. A day earlier, a pair of demonstrators soaked in a portable jacuzzi. We are in the jacuzzi making peace. Peace for like to show all the world how Canadians going to protest. But police have described the protest as a siege with a late night fireworks and incessant horn blowing fraying residents' nerves. We have well-developed plans that will ensure ultimate removal of those protesters from our streets.